What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, my name is Amy the Infamous Witch. On this channel, I do a lot of spiritual stuff, tarot stuff, branching out. I don't know. But anyways, I like to do a lot of things. Um, but that's mostly what it is on this channel. Um, so we're going to figure out who's gossiping about you, why they are gossiping about you. I'm going to try to pull up some like facial features, things like that. Um, if you want to book a personal or donate, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all that you have done so far for me, you guys. Um, it's all down in the description, or you can add me on Facebook in the description or TikTok. And with all that being said, timestamps will be down in the comment section for your reading, okay? Um, if you're drawn to more than one, go ahead and pick whichever ones you're drawn to. So, pile one is Rose Quartz, pile two is Tiger Eye, pile three is Amethyst. So, let me show you guys. Ay. Pile one is Rose Quartz, pile two is Tiger Eye, pile three is Amethyst. So, choose which pile or piles you're most drawn to, and I'm going to put them down in the comment section so you can skip to it. Okay, I'm going to start with pile one, rose quartz. Pile one. Who's gossiping about you and why? Who's gossiping about my pile ones? I heard beauty. I also heard ugly. gossiping about my pile ones what is this person's personality like okay he's good he's good okay oh this person is a snake because they come up as the devil card this person could have their own business or they could be an aries if they don't have their own business I'm also seeing that you could have left this person out in the cold to start your own business. So take what resonates here. This is general. But this person is in their feelings, okay? This person is quite emotional. Or at least they let their emotions control them a little bit, you know? Some of you, this person is just not stable, okay? They feel like you left them out in the cold. Who's hating on my power ones? I feel like they're stuck in the same spot and you have changed. And they feel like you abandoned them. And they're coming back in to try to fix this. For some of you, I feel like this is an ex. This is either an old best friend or this is an ex or someone that you used to talk to. And they're coming back in for a new beginning. Although... There was arguments here. Who's gossiping about my pile ones? This person could be bigger than you, I'm hearing. Either taller or like chubbier or maybe they're more fit, like muscular. Just I'm just hearing that they are a little bit bigger than you chariot this person could live at distance or they like the water they like to be by the water what does this person look like what does this person look like so yeah there was some type of fallout that happened and this person's gonna come back. I feel, I really do feel like pile one, this is an X. I just seen four for four on the clock. Maybe you blocked this person, I'm not sure. Six of coins, this person.
Okay, this person can have either skin tone because I'm seeing like caramel skin tone, light and dark. So, but I do feel like this person's bigger than you. Either they have bigger ego, bigger hair, bigger, there's something big I'm hearing. Um, but this person, I'm hearing sometimes they don't comb their hair. Or like they have dirty hair. Some this person could work outside for some of you. Okay. Don't know why I heard that. Anyways. They could walk barefoot sometimes. Or like if it's a female, she doesn't paint her toes. She doesn't get her toes done. Or like this person shows their feet or toes sometimes. But like they're not painted. I'm seeing that they're not painted. I'm seeing plain toes. Could be male or female. Okay, but why is this person hating on my pile ones? I mean, gossiping. Sorry. Why is this person gossiping about my pile ones? I heard you got it together. Yep. They they could have put you in a third party situation. And now you're celebrating. You're manifesting the life that you want. You're doing a lot of things. There's balance in your life now. You're coming up as the high priestess. You glowed the fuck up on this person and this person's in the same fucking spot, okay? And they're just looking at you like, damn, this person has really fucking elevated. This person has created a lot for themselves. And they're talking about this. What are they saying? What are they saying? I keep hearing that they talk about how you used to be. Like, she really changed this much. She, she really changed this much can't believe that this person is really like this now that's crazy some of you could be single mothers or fathers or like have children this person sees they say that it ended that you guys went through some very bad ending and you moved on but this person is held up on you and they're telling people that they're held up on you and they see that you moved away from them and you got in victory. And they're telling people about the last fight that you had, whatever that was. They're talking about this. What else are they saying? They don't know if they should take the leap. They don't want to get rejected. They feel like they did a lot to you already. If they were to come back, they would just drag you down. Is what they're telling people. They're telling people. They want something new with you. And they and some of you, you could have a new person already. And they want you to break up with your new person. Or cheat on your new person with them. But if that happened, I don't see it going well. They feel like you outgrew them. They're like, how did this person outgrow me? This person was supposed to stay stuck on me forever. I feel like this person just feels bad now because they finally see what they lost. This person never had good intentions for you, Power One. In the beginning, they treated you so wrong. You gave them so many chances. You gave them so many chances. This needs to be flipped, then flip it. Yeah, they're hung up over you. They're thinking over and over about all that they caused you. And they want to come back in. But their pride is like, no, I can't do that. Okay? This is actually pretty sad. Because they know that they did this to themselves. And they know that you gave them a lot of chances. And I feel like they are, you know, kind of trying to look things up. Or somehow stay relevant to your life. Or could be spying on you. Things like that. Looking up your social media or asking people about you. I'm hearing for some of you, they're even making fake pages fake facebook pages but that's what i got for you pile one let me know if this resonates at all leave me a comment if it did um if you want to book a personal that's more accurate um all down in the, in the description i'm kind of getting a cold so that's why i sound like that but thank you for joining me pile one love you guys so much see you next video Okay, pile two, ten or five. Pile two, if you picked um, tiger eye, 
This is your reading. Who's gossiping about my pile of tools? Why did I hear other spiritual people? Some of you could be spiritual and other spiritual people are talking about you. Who's gossiping about my pile of tools? I'm getting a lot of overthinking, okay? You get people to thinking, all right, by what you say. The world. Some of you might be in the spotlight. Or like very popular, well-known. Or that's how this person perceives you, if not. You might have said something that hurt this person, but you didn't mean to. That's just how you talk. You're blunt. Who's hating on my pal twos? Yeah, it's just how you talk. You may just talk stern or just talk blunt, like your words are sharp. You don't mean to be hurting people's feelings. Just seen 11 11 on the clock. This person feels like you don't even realize what you caused, you don't even realize what you said. This could be someone that you were in a relationship with or you were talking to. Let me see here. I'm hearing that this is the ex. Let me see here. The ex of your current for some of you. But let me see. Who's hitting on my pal twos? Who is this person hating on my pile twos? They they view you as some someone highly though. That's that's the crazy part here. So I feel like this is out of jealousy. Yeah, they have sneaky intentions with you. They definitely like to do things to stir the pot, okay? And then act like they didn't do it or they didn't know what they was doing. Okay, but this person is a manipulator okay and they see you doing a lot to balance yourself spiritually align yourself or like do things to make yourself better and they're saying things to try to put you down possibly or criticize you i'm, I'm this is a lover they're not doing it on purpose some of you I don't know. I feel like your your lover feels like you're doing more than them. And also, you do have a sharp tongue. Like, you may say, like, you don't even do this. You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they make it feel like, you make them feel like you better than them. That phrase keeps coming up a lot today. Some of you are good with your hands. You have some sort of, sort of talent. Whether that's making necklaces, beads, food, cards energy healers i feel like this person has insecurities so they're trying to like keep you trapped yeah this is a lover for most of you this is either someone you're talking to like a lover you're talking to you're dating you're married to or this is like a best friend that's extremely obsessive okay I kind of feel like you have kids with this person or kids involved somehow. Not for all of you, but some of you. Who's gossiping about my pile of twos? What is this person like? This person is argumentative. You've gotten into an argument with this person before. It was your lover. It's your lover. Whoever you consider your lover to be. Someone that you were in a relationship with. Or if you're with them now, it's your current, okay? If you're not in a relationship, this is someone that you were in a relationship with. But if you are in a relationship, this is your current partner. What are they saying? I could be telling people about this argument you got into. Or you said something that hurt their feelings. Or, like I said, it was over social media. This person is saying...
that you're kind of letting them drown as you walk towards happiness. They're working while you're kind of growing something. They're working hard. It's like they're doing hard labor work, like outside physical labor work. And you're doing light work, but you're growing something big. I don't really think it, that it's a bad thing, what they're saying. But they're kind of jealous. They're like, yeah, I, I'm putting this person first. This person is getting their life together before me. Like, kind of like a jealous energy in a way, I guess. They kind of feel like you're surpassing them. Justice. They feel like they did not get their justice. I just feel like you're changing so rapidly. And this person feels like you want this change so bad. You want to elevate your life so bad that you leave this person out in the cold. And not even for other people, but possibly for your job. Or for this business you're growing. Or for something like that here. What else is this person saying? Also hearing cold feet. This person could have cold feet. Or they think you have cold feet. Like if they talked about marriage with you. That doesn't fit. Don't make it fit. But they kind of feel like they are crying for help. Or like attention. And you just don't notice it. Because you're so focused on your own problems right now. Yeah, your business. They want to celebrate with you though. They're saying that. They possibly think that. Because you're so focused on your business that you have another person. But that's just this person's insecurities. This person has a lot of insecurities that they need to work on. I feel like there's two people in particular that they tell this to. Like maybe they're in a group chat. They talk to their friends, something like that. This person is protective of you. But also jealous of you at the same time. Because look at this. The snake is protecting this woman. But also, you still can't completely trust a snake. That's just what I'm picking up. Because you still have something that the snake wants. But it's not all the way bad gossip, though. I just feel like this person is coming from a place of insecurity. Honestly. Okay? That's what I got for you, Power 3. Two... Hi. That's what I got for you, pal, too. Let me know if this resonates. If you want to book a personal reading, that's way more accurate. Or donate all down in the description. Add me on Facebook. Follow me on TikTok. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Share this with a friend. Maybe they need it. I don't know. Bye, guys. Okay. Shuffle this up. okay those that chose amethyst this is your reading who's gossiping about you and why okay who's gossiping about my pile threes Who is gossiping about my pile? Ooh, too many, too many, too many cards. Who's gossiping about my pile three and why? Okay. This could be a Gemini. Or they're just taking on Gemini energy. They don't have to be Gemini. Okay. But this is someone that's jealous of you. This is someone that's coming up. They see you as the master manifester. They're trying to manifest something too. I feel like something similar to, to you. Like whatever you're trying to manifest. Let's see, who, who is this person? Though? How would my power threes know who this person is? 
some of you i'm hearing that this is a complete stranger i heard that cop they're watching you like a hawk okay maybe you're new into what you do you're like you're newer whatever you're doing okay lots of nines This person could be gay. They could be gay, they could be lesbian, or in a same-sex relationship, something like that. Who's gossiping? Who is this person? And I'm only saying same-sex because in this card is two women. Okay. and that's like for 50% of you it's probably not all of you or this could be the other way around maybe you're the one in the same sex relationship anyways who is this person gossiping about my pile threes my card fly out but I don't know if I'm going to take it All right, last shuffle. Who's gossiping about my pile threes? Who is this person? This is someone you outgrew for sure. Or like when you met this person or knew this person. You like were in the same vibration field. But now I feel like you expanded. You changed. This person's pissed. Because they see you... Climbing and elevating and doing things for yourself. Some of you, this is like an ex. Your ex's ex or your current's ex. Or your ex's current. Okay, take it how it resonates. Who is gossiping about my pile threes? This person's pissed. I feel like they watch you all the time. They're trying to find some sort of dirt on you. And rush in telling your, your person that you're dating now. Or whatever the case is here. Who's gossiping? We're going to figure out why too. Most definitely. You could be, like, in a relationship. Maybe they seen pictures on Facebook or, like, on social media or um, somebody brought some something to their attention. And it pissed this person off. Yeah, this could have been, like, a third party in the past. That they left or you left. I feel like they were with your person for a long time and they left after this third party happened and now their person's with you and they're pissed about this. Although I feel like they could have seemed like they got over and like they didn't care. Let me dive more into this. Yeah, an ending happened, and this person was very emotional about it. And they see you focused on your money, like you're getting money now. And this person is envious that you're getting money, that you have elevated, that you're doing good. Maybe you didn't look so good when you first seen this person or met this person, and now you look good. And they're like, bitch, what the fuck? You elevating past me, bitch? I'm better than you. You not better than me. That's how this person's feeling. Who is this person, though? This is definitely someone you had a tower moment with. You had an argument. You almost fought this person. This person could have left. Went out of state. Yeah, this is someone that 
was involved with a third party with you so to me this is your ex but i feel like this is your ex's ex or your current's ex for most of you okay so let's figure out what they're saying what are they saying about my pile of threes I feel like they blame you for something. They feel like it's your fault that they have to work for their money. Maybe this person helped them out with money and now they have to do more because of you being with this person or something like that. What are they saying? They're saying that they left your person. But really, I think your person left this person. But let's see here. What are they saying? I feel like they are bitter. I'm getting like a bitter energy here. Ten of Swords. I feel like they're saying that they belong. This person's in a same-sex relationship though. That's the crazy part, but they're manipulative and they're trying to break you up with your current person. Even though this person could be gay now or in same sex or um, you're in same sex now. I don't know. This is a little bit confusing, but this person is pissed about whoever you're with or you were with, okay? If you use the high priestess, they don't want you to be the high priestess. Like they're trying to they feel like you took something so they're trying to take it back what is this what is it what is this person saying about my power threes what is the what are they gossiping about what are they saying about my power threes they're saying that you put magic on their person Or like they're saying they're going to expose you. or But there's nothing to really expose. This person's just pissed. They're looking for something and they're saying that they're going to expose you. But there's nothing that they can really find to expose you. That's the crazy part here. And they're saying that you don't like to be trapped. You like to be free. Um, they're saying that. What else are they saying? Listen, that this is their true soulmate. I feel like for some of you, this person actually wants to fight you because they're in their feelings. They feel alone right now because of a third party situation. Yeah, they're really out to get you. I feel like for some of you, this person wants revenge and they're going to try to offer you something nice. But just be aware that this person is manipulative and they're not going to actually be nice. Like they're going to make it sound nice. They're going to be like, oh, let's go out for dinner. Let's talk or let's do this. Let's talk. But this person has evil intentions. So don't go. If you know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this person is saying that they have a plan to ruin your business because they're going to offer you something and like somehow self-sabotage you or get some sort of information on you but i'm hearing that it's not going to work but this is what they're telling people that they're going to do they're telling people that they the boss they run this ish you don't control ish that they are older it's for some of you i feel like this person's older than you or they feel like they know more than you or like you won't see it coming but really you will some of you you're gonna they're gonna try to make you overthink they're gonna tell you things to make you overthink so that you fight with your person or make you think that this person was gonna choose them over you they're just gonna try to do a lot to get inside your head they're gonna try to put thoughts inside your head manipulate you and they're telling people of this plan that they have even or at least some people they're telling definitely people that they want to fight you and that they feel like you did magic or something like that. This is crazy. This person's very, like, low. They could be on drugs, honestly. 
but that's what i got for you pile three let me know how this seems to resonate love you um if you want to book a personal or donate all down in the description box below i really appreciate that um add me on facebook follow me on tiktok and share this video i really appreciate it bye guys see you next time